longtime union member of the machinist. Without the unions, we'd be nowhere in this country, and we know they've struggled for years and years against police brutality in, in, from the beginning of the union. I thank you all for being here. I never, believe me, I never thought in a million years that I'd be standing here among these poor families who have lost dear ones. And it can happen to anybody's family. It doesn't have to be brown or black. It's anybody's family can come up against these cops. And uh, we need to stop this across the country. We need people to do whatever they can, whatever little thing they can do, write a letter, make a march, attend a meeting of the city council, whatever it takes, small though it may be, it's all drops in that bucket of water, somebody said. And it'll, it'll, in the end, we've got to fight for our rights in this country. It's going to become a police state if we're not careful. The police have all the control and the rights. The, the cop that killed my uh, great nephew in South San Francisco is, was now hired by San Francisco. So he's policing the people of San Francisco and already he's run into a few problems there. In 2014, he earned $180,000 with benefits. I bet none of you have earned that in 2014. And he's out there just assaulting our young people. So. We appreciate so much what the union's providing for us today. I thank you. Thank you, Dolores Piper, the great aunt of 15-year-old Derek Gang, who was killed right here in South San Francisco. Again, another great aunt, family member, standing on the front line. And also here to thank the ILWU and those workers that are here in this community standing with us today for being a part of this movement. Yes. You know, uh, the Mario Woods family uh, representative spoke earlier. She's just going to share a couple of words. I'll uh, just let you know that she also thanks you. Uh, she'll be here in a second. That works. You know, let us know, let us not forget how important this day is in history for the fact that we got eight hours a day that we have to perform to get a good day straight from pay. Good afternoon, everybody, and I'm happy to see that you are still standing strong, dedicated, and determined to make a difference in this great city of San Francisco. So on behalf of the family, on behalf of Justice for Mario Woods Coalition, the announcement that I would like to make is an invitation. Uh, the Justice um, Department of Justice COMPS program will be coming to the Justice for Mario Woods Coalition meeting on next Thursday. We meet at SEIU 1021 350 Rhode Island. So all of you who have issues around killer cops here in San Francisco, come and let the Department of Justice hear your pain because they cannot go back to Washington without hearing you. They have came before and Justice for Mario Woods, we shut them down. So now they want to come exclusively to talk with our coalition. And I want all of you to come. Because 